You're watching Telecom TV, broadcasting from our brand new studios in the UK. Cloud native communications company Metaswitch has just announced that its Access Gateway function solution has been successfully tested by Vodafone. The solution is part of the new 5G wireless Wireline convergence work aligned with both Broadband Forum and 3GPP specifications. Well, joining me now to explain the importance of the news is Martin Taylor, CTO at Metaswitch. Martin, glad to have you as the very first guest from our new studios. Um, can you start by, by explaining the, the importance of the news and, and what all this actually means? So the access gateway function is the, the, the key element in this uh, wireless wireline convergence uh, initiative, um, which has been worked out between the standards making bodies in the wireline access uh, industry, that's the broadband forum and cable labs, and the uh, and 3GPP, which uh, does standards for mobile and 5G. Uh, so the, the, the idea here is that you can uh, essentially deliver broadband services from a 5G packet core to customers or subscribers on, on wireline broadband access networks. That's GPON, uh, DSL, uh, you know, the various kinds of fiber to the hub, fiber to the curb, and so on. Uh, the, the, the AGF essentially acts as a as, as a glue element between the wireline access network and the 5G core. So it's 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 kind of ad adapting between the the, the 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 protocols that are in use in the two worlds. Uh, to the wireline access network, it presents a familiar interface. It looks like a broadband network gateway. The broadband forum V interface. Uh, it, it, it is a relevant access um, point, and then on the on the five G side, it presents the familiar N three interface, and that that's the interface that a G node B a radio five G radio access base station would would present to the to, to the five G core, and um, by this means, it it, it enables a five G core to deliver broadband services to wireline subscribers over conventional wireline access networks, GPON. DSL without the need for any kind of change in the customer equipment. So the, we're talking about serving the installed base of residential uh, fixed network gateways that are out there. And, but as I say, delivering the broadband service from the 5G packet core instead of from the broadband network gateway. And the idea is to uh, reduce the number of different technologies that the network operator has to have in their network and to enable network operators who offer both mobile and fixed broadband to manage their subscribers, their subscriber service policies, charging, analytics, all that kind of stuff out of a common uh, set of technologies, one stack, if you like, to serve all of their broadband subscribers. And at what point in the network does this convergence occur physically? So the idea is to preserve the existing uh, wireline access network up to the uh, the GPON optical line termination or the uh, DSL, the, the DSLAM, and to uh, sit, sit behind that instead of a broadband network gateway, this new thing called the access gateway function. So the access gateway function looks to the uh, wireline access network you know, like a familiar broadband network gateway, the so-called broadband forum V interface. Um, but from the point of view of the 5G packet core, it looks like a radio access network. So it kind of emulates a, a G node B, which is a, a 5G a radio base station. Uh, so it's, 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 it's a kind of interworking function, if you like. Um, and, you know, it, it enables the rest of the 5G packet core to, to operate in, in, in an entirely standard way for the traffic from the wireline broadband access network to flow through the 5G user plane function, where all the standard 5G policy, charging, analytics kinds of functions can be applied. So that essentially the, the identical set of services can be delivered to mobile subscribers as uh, wireline subscribers and as I say, a common subscriber management backend. And is this function cloud native and does it fully take advantage of container deployment and um, orchestration by Kubernetes? 
So the, the, the AGF that we have built uh, is very much an extension to our Fusion Core solution, uh, all of which is cloud native. Uh, and when I say cloud native, what I mean is, you know, we reflect the absolutely bang up to the minute uh, best practices of the web scale players. And that means containers. It means automation with Kubernetes, automatic deployment with Helm instrumentation with with Prometheus and Fluentd and, and, and those kinds of uh, cloud native packages. And we built the AGF in exactly the same way. Uh, and it uses the same software packet processing technology that our UPF is based on. And by the way, that uh, was recently tested by Intel uh, delivering 500 gigabits on a single two socket server, which is uh, by far the most uh, the highest performance, highest efficiency UPF that's out there on, on, on the market right now. And the AGF is built on exact same technology. So yes, it's in containers. It's, it can be deployed automatically with Kubernetes. Uh, it scales out um, elastically. It's N plus K fault tolerant. You know, it embodies all of those cloud native characteristics. And this has all been made possible through collaboration. We mentioned at the beginning there the Broadband Forum and 3GPP. So I, I assume we are seeing um, better collaboration between the various standards groups and bodies um, in order to to drive this wish, which has the industry has been talking about for, for quite some time to get it into uh, reality. Yes, there's been some very close collaboration between Broadband Forum particularly and um, 3GPP and, and, and Cable Labs is also involved because uh, this kind of solution is equally applicable to the uh, to, to, to broadband over, over cable. Um, but th there's kind of parallels uh, standards making work going on right now. So the Broadband Forum have, have uh, announced this TR456 uh, um, standard, which is the specification for the um, access gateway function. Uh, 3GPP have, have uh, embodied um, the whole concept of wireless wireline convergence in their overall 5G architecture document, which is 23.501, and then go into a lot more detail in, in 23.316. Uh, and those the, those specifications are very well aligned. There's obviously been very tight uh, liaison going on between between the two groups. So is this a first step towards a more comprehensive new network architecture? I mean, what, what's what's the the ultimate end goal here? Well, the the, the end goal for network operators is 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 simplification. Uh, and and the ability to manage their their, their subscribers and the and the service policies they apply and the charging and analytics and all you know all that back office stuff from a single technology stack so yes it, it represents a a simplification of of the overall network um, it also introduces some interesting new possibilities so right now um, the the agf that we've uh, demonstrated and and and, and have been testing with vodafone uh, is is designed to connect a conventional legacy residential broadband gateway to a 5G network, and uh, but the, the the specifications also talk about a an enhanced residential gateway. So you know, imagine your your DSL or your optical router in your home now embodying the the 5G access protocols for for, for signaling. So this this is just enabling this residential gateway to request more capabilities from the network than you could with a with a conventional uh, legacy kind of gateway and that includes things like enhanced uh, quality of service for um, real-time calls you know uh, voice calls delivered by ims by the by the network operator so it enables the network operator to deliver a better experience to the end user um, it also opens up some interesting possibilities for hybrid access. So the idea of a residential gateway that both talks wireline broadband, which might be copper, DSL, or it might be fiber, GPON, and 5G radio, um, with the ability to load balance across those two media, to have higher availability. If your wireline broadband goes down, you've still got the radio there. Um, and the, the, the traffic that travels over both of those uh, different media, radio and, and wireline, effectively gets merged back in at the 5G core. That's that's hybrid access using multi-part TCP. Um, and as I say, that that gives higher throughput and higher availability. So, you know, some interesting new service possibilities become uh, opened up by this approach. And the solution's been successfully tested by Vodafone. What's the feedback you've, you've had so far? Are they happy with what they're seeing? 
Yes, I mean, the, 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 their objectives were, were really twofold. One was to um, to verify that the standards actually were capable of being implemented in practice, if you like, that you could actually uh, take a, a completely standard off the shelf residential gateway. And through this uh, uh, AGF uh, function, this access gateway function, effectively map the the, the sign on the authentication uh, authorization flows from that residential gateway it, and, and map them into um, the call setup flows, if you like, in the in, in the 5G, uh, the 5G packet core. So it was it was firstly to demonstrate that, you know, that actually the whole thing would work in practice, but also to uh, verify that the economics would work. Uh, so, you know, if if this AGF was going to cost a lot more in terms of, you know, massive amounts of, of hardware than, let's say, you know, a conventional broadband network gateway, then the, 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 the solution would be a non-starter because, you know, the, it, would, it would just be too costly to, to roll out and deploy. So one of the things they've been doing is to compare and contrast the wireless wireline converge solution with a virtualized broadband network gateway and you know what they've what they've seen is that broadly the um, the amount of hardware resource they need to throw at the at, at the problem is is similar and so the you know they've verified that uh, the wireless wireline convergence solution is is a cost effective alternative to broadband network gateways Martin, as always, thanks very much indeed for sharing your insights with us here on Telecom TV. Thank you very much. Pleasure.